On Wednesday, March 18, 1925, a highly visible funnel appeared under a classic supercell thunderstorm at 1 p.m. near Moore Township, Missouri. Shortly after, the deadliest tornado in U.S. history would claim its first life. Town after leveled town would endure a horror unlike anything the world has ever seen. After crossing into Illinois, the parent storm transitioned to high precipitation mode, obscuring the intense tornado behind a curtain of rain while the strength and size of the tornado increased. With wind estimates perhaps in excess of 300 miles per hour, this tornado obliterated the towns directly in its path while racing across the landscape at an average speed of 62 miles per hour. Entire rows of homes were leveled and swept away. Schools were devastated. Railroad tracks were reportedly ripped from the ground and sheets of iron were carried as far as 50 miles away. In rural areas, farmhouses were also leveled. Trees were debarked and the tornado carved deep scours into the earth, indicating this tornado would have easily earned the highest intensity rating on the Fujita scale, an F5. Back in 1925, there were no technologies yet available to detect tornadoes, nor systems in place to warn the public. Even using the word tornado in forecasts and warnings was banned by the U.S. Weather Bureau at the time to prevent panic among the public. Many victims likely had little or no warning before the tornado struck. Between the obliterated town of Gorham and the highly devastated town of Murfreesboro, the mile-wide tornado raced at an incredible speed of 73 miles per hour, and for a long time it was recognized as the fastest tornado ever recorded. In its wake, large fires burned structures with trapped victims inside. Thousands were left without shelter or food, and looters raided the rubble. After three hours and 38 minutes of unspeakable horror, the tornado or family of tornadoes finally dissipated at 4.38 p.m. near Petersburg, Indiana, along a 235-mile damage path. Approximately 15,000 homes had been destroyed and 695 men, women, and children lost their lives, by far the largest death toll registered by any U.S. tornado to the present day. Almost 100 years later, America still hasn't seen anything like that terrible Wednesday in March 1925.